Hi guys, Michael here, and in this video I'm going to be answering the age-old question, can you run a virtual machine inside a virtual machine? Now, I haven't Googled this, um, I haven't looked it up on YouTube at all, I haven't spoke to anyone about it at all, whether you can do this, this is just going to be a straight-off experiment, can you run it, is it possible? Um, as you can see, I'm just running my f uh, installing my first virtual machine, um, and then we'll get around to installing the second uh, within this virtual machine and then I'll show you guys show you guys that clip so I'll be back in about an hour okay we have the first virtual machine installed as you can see um, I've since given it a gig of RAM it was originally running on half a half a gig um, and Microsoft states that wi Windows 7 should be well the minimum requirements, requirements should be about a gig of RAM um, but I've read I've read that you know you can run on 512 just fine. So I'm gonna start videoing the setup of the second one. Um, see if we get anything anything strange happen um, and just see whether we see any results in the first in, first instance. So we'll just call this uh, VM Windows 7. So okay we're gonna run this with 512 so the primary machine this machine here will be running 512 the machine inside the machine will be running on 512 so this this machine that I'm creating inside the virtual machine will be running on 512 out the one gig the original virtual machine is running on if that makes any sense at all um, so I'll create a new hard drive uh, VDI will be just fine dynamically allocated yep 25 meg that'll be fine, uh, 25 gig, that'll be absolutely fine. So I've got the I, uh, ISO on here, Windows 7 Professional X64 bit, so we'll just mount that ISO. See the, uh, see the moment of truth of this, whether this actually works. Can I access kernel driver? Make sure the kernel driver. Hmm. That's interesting. Fail to open session 4, let's see what it says. Opponent is face on machine, the virtual machine Windows 7 has turned unexpectedly. Fail to open session 4, the virtual machine Windows 7. Okay, we'll just have a look in the event logger, see if we get any, uh, any further information. Um, I saw if you expected an error similar similar to that. Um, so we'll just have a look at uh, what the event says. See if we would get any extra information on why that failed. I'm also probably gonna have a quick quick Google and see what I can see what I can find on that error. Um, so it doesn't look like uh, VirtualBox has actually reported a fault within event via um, Odd because I believe it usually does. So, okay. There's also a, I believe there's a vent login. So let's just have a look. And I believe there's a log somewhere, if I remember correctly, which will tell us what, uh, tell me what's going on. I'll just have a quick look. I'll have to, I'll have to uh, have a look on the Oracle website because I can't remember the exact pathways for these. Logs. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, well, I'll have go, go and have a look at that error and uh, see whether this is this is possible at all. Because um, as I say, I've never never tried this at all. So it's just purely an experiment. Um, and I'll see whether I can get this up and running and uh, report back. So guys, uh, round number two. I've actually downgraded from the VirtualBox client I originally was running. I think it was 4.2.18, if I'm sure, um, if I'm correct. I know that VirtualBox often release new new versions of their clients and certain, certain things haven't been tested. I'm not too sure how it works, but I know there have been issues, um, especially I've encountered them when I upgraded a, uh, a VirtualBox a VirtualBox client and we're running it, uh, a Linux box I set up 
um, and encountered all sorts of issues so I just reverted it to a uh, to an older build so I'm currently got um, let me just have a look version 4.0.18 so round two we'll see how it goes uh, here we go 512 acre. oh it looks promising actually yeah we'll get booted up there we go so it's going to start reading off the I ISO, yep, that looks that looks like it's working. So, okay, I'll come back um, once that's installed, and we'll see how it runs. Okay. So, hi guys. Um, yeah, after about two hours, the virtual machine setup is work. In fact, working. Uh, I have the primary virtual machine here running on my physical machine. Um, and I have the other virtual machine, the second virtual machine, running in within my within the uh, main virtual machine. So they're both running on 512 megabytes of RAM, uh, even though Microsoft say the minimum requirement is a gig. Um, that doesn't appear to be true, but I guess they just want it to run smoothly, etc., etc. Uh, but yeah, 512 meg RAM. It's running absolutely fine. Windows 7 Professional. Um, 32 bit yeah running absolutely absolutely fine um, so that's that's cleared up the uh, cleared up the question um, and one can only assume that you can run as many virtual machines as you like so I could I could open up here I could install virtualbox um, and then I could run another virtual machine given that I have enough RAM um, but it's sort of a sort of a chain reaction so say I had 16 gigs of RAM on my physical machine I'd give my primary no, let's call this number one virtual machine. Let's call this number two. If I give number one virtual machine eight gigs of RAM, and then I'd give uh, this one like four gigs of RAM, and it'll just go down and down and down. Uh, but unfortunately, I only have four gigs of RAM, so we we'll have to uh, experiment with that another time. Um, but as I say, there's no real, no real use for it, or no real benefit uh, for it. It's just seeing whether you, whether it can be done. Anyway, I hope that cleared up the uh, cleared up the question. And if you have any further questions or anything you'd like me to try, just leave it in the comments, okay? Until next time, guys. See ya.